What's going on guys, No Slack Novak here with a brand new series, this one is of Motorsport Manager. Now this is a game that I started watching one of my favorite Let's Players on YouTube, I don't know if you guys know him, but Quill18, he started up this series. And to be honest with you, I never heard of this game until he started playing it. I watched a few of his videos and I absolutely fell in love with it. So I went ahead and I bought it and uh, just to give you guys a heads up, it is on sale on Steam. They have the summer sale going on right now. The game is, I want to say $13, uh, which it's without a doubt to me, it's, it's definitely worth $13. I've already played it for about 35 hours and I'm absolutely in love with it. There's so much to do, but uh, you know what? let's go ahead and get into this so what we're gonna be doing I'm gonna be starting a brand new team and one of the reasons I decided to do this is because Quill already said that he's only gonna do one season of his uh, of his racing team well I've seen that a lot of people are asking for more and I will definitely do more than one season um, I'm fully expecting to go at least three seasons when it comes to this series uh, but anyways we're gonna be starting off a brand new team as well as hiring our very own manager so what we're gonna do is we're gonna name him no slack novak and we're gonna give him our actual date of birth no slacks real date of birth and then what we're also gonna do uh, we're gonna have to pick a country and all that good stuff we're gonna say uh, North America and clearly based in the United States that is me now we do have a couple of different backstories. We can do X driver, which kind of gives us extra info on our drivers and on our vehicles. We can do X engineer, which kind of cuts down on how long it takes to design certain parts. We can be a financial uh, wizard, which takes off 5% of all of our uh, payments that we have to make. Um, political guy, which kind of gives us extra power when it comes to the politics portion of the, uh, the racing industry, uh, which I really like the way that they do this. It changes up the season. It kind of uh, mixes things up a little bit. Uh, maybe I'll explain that a little bit later if it presents itself. But I think for now I'm going to go with an X engineer. Now that being said, let's go ahead and adjust this just a little bit. Um, I like the mohawk a little bit. Let's go ahead and just do like a military little bus cut. We're going to do dark brown hair, facial hair is fine, glasses fine. That is no slack, no vac right there. Yes, let's go ahead and go. Alright, so we can do a team that's currently in the um, in all three of the leagues, which I'm not going to do that. I'm going to start a brand spanking new team. And here, here's, okay, there's three tiers. Tier 1, Tier 2, Tier 3. Tier 1 is like F1. Um, this is the top-notch league. I doubt we can compete in this anytime soon. Asia Pacific Super Cup, same thing. Then down here we have tier 3, the European uh, European Racing Series, which again, it's going to be tough to actually compete in this. However, I really want to try to move up through the European Racing Series, hopefully win uh, the championship, and then get promoted into the Asia Pacific Super Cup. And then if we do well there, we will try to win the championship in World Motorsport, which that is my ultimate goal. Uh, however long it takes, and I'm assuming it's going to take quite a bit of time to get up to the world more sport just to get up to world more sport I feel like it's probably gonna take some time um, however we're gonna try to uh, you know work our way up there so for now we're gonna do European racing series has a little bit less of a prize fund as you can see here world more sport 500 million and it has 425 million TV audience uh, this little bit less 125 million and it's only got a 40 million TV audience now there's 10 races in this series we're gonna go ahead we're gonna do that Hopefully we'll be able to turn 10 races into 10 episodes per season and we might do 11 just starting off because uh, we might just do this one episode where we build the team and then we might not get to the actual race in this episode. However, if we do not get to the race in this episode, I promise you I will upload race one uh, the same day that I upload the creation of the team. Now that being said. Uh, we need a team name. No Slack Racing is exactly what we're going to go with. We have Origins origins uh, in the US. We are going to design our logo, which I already have one in mind. I really, really, really like this one right here. No Slack Racing with a little outline of the supercar. Uh, we are going to change our primary colors, though. Uh, we already have the red here, pre-saved. And then our secondary color is going to be this really cool little yellow. And I think that looks pretty, pretty slick. Now, 
yes red is gonna be primary yellow is gonna be secondary that's the way I like it uh-huh uh-huh all right uniforms we're gonna choose our uniforms I like this kind of little swervy stripe thing they got going on and then for the hats not super important I think we're gonna go with something like ooh, that kind of matches right um you know what that oh, okay I'm gonna go back that you know what? let's try something like that and let's try something like that primary color is gonna be the red secondary color is gonna be the yellow you know I kind of don't like that hat like that let's go with that actually you know what let's do I like this one right here I like the two little stripes right there we're gonna do that car livery 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 I don't know how that's pronounced we're gonna go with six and then of course we're gonna change this up again now I've already done this once before um, we're gonna go with yellow right here and I think the rest is all just gonna be straight up red pretty pretty sure let's try yellow real quick uh, let's do the red uh, let's do the yellow I don't know that looks kind of spiffy too you know what let's go with that we're gonna do the red and yellow pretty equal although the red is a little bit more um, no hold on Ooh. I think maybe do we want to do black sponsor I think we kind of want our sponsors to be black uh, okay so light sponsor we'll do we'll do the white and then for the dark we'll just do the black that makes sense there beautiful I like that I like that yellow and red combo it looks really really nice anyways let's try to move forward now I'm trying to hurry in this up a little bit yes we have finished editing I'm trying to hurry up a little bit because I've already re-recorded this this is the second time had some sort of a weird issue anyways we're doing this all over again now we do have an ability to choose who our investment is gonna be through uh, we have three different banks three different perks um, low pressure here with root investments and then we have medium pressure here pretty much I'm gonna be deciding between these two Golden Tiger Bank I don't want to have to deal with their high pressure although they will give us the largest starting financial package uh, I just really don't want to have to deal with this high pressure I don't want to be fired from my own racing team Stonewell here gives us a 40% team marketability which I think is huge and they'll give us a medium starting financial package however root investments does give us a three-star chassis in the first season which I think is gonna be pretty big although it'll, it's only a small starting financial package I think what I want to go with I'm gonna go with Stonewell Bank here we're gonna go with these guys uh, they're gonna give us a little bit of cash I really like that logo I think I like it a lot that red and yellow really looks nice anyways so Stonewell I want to say is gonna give us something like 10 million dollars to start our racing team uh, we're gonna have two drivers a lead designer and two car mechanics now I'm pretty certain we're gonna to want to upgrade if not all of them we're definitely gonna upgrade a few of them and we're gonna have to do that ASAP because the first race of the season is gonna be coming up somewhat soon uh, our first race is in 16 days and look at that sexy car and let's check this out real quick um, our car is gonna be pretty crap let's check this out all of our parts here uh, except for the ones that are spec parts that are just standard they can't be upgraded this is what the league requires all of our other parts are absolute crap so we are gonna wanna design new parts very soon and we're not gonna be able to do that until uh, we hire a better designer which let's check out our, our lead designer here is only a half star which is pretty bad our mechanics are also pretty bad not even a one star and a half star and they don't even have any potential so they can't really get better now our drivers are not bad they're both over two stars which is actually okay however I think we're definitely gonna want to uh, change up our lead designer as well as our race mechanics uh, as you can see here this is how we compare to the rest of the teams in our division our car is absolute crap our drivers are right around average and then our headquarters our staff and our sponsors are pretty crap as well that being said uh, what we're gonna do we're gonna upgrade our headquarters just a little bit we do have 10 million and I really do want to get this factory upgraded over here so let's go into that it's gonna cost us 8 million 
However, it will allow us to uh, develop parts faster and it will also give us extra slots uh, for the improvement and development of those said parts. So let's go ahead and do that. That's going to cost us 8 million. We're going to make that investment, although that's going to bring us down to 2 million. I think we'll be okay. Part of the reason I say we're going to be okay is because we're going to talk to Thomas Winthrop, who is our kind of char chairman, and he's going to give us some extra cash right now. Now he's asking, how do you expect to do this season? There's 10 teams in the league. I fully expect to finish 9th or 10th. If we're lucky, we'll finish 10th. Um, so let's see, our two options are pretty much to finish 8th, and he'll give us 16.8 million. Or if we finish 10th, he'll give us 14. That is like 2.8 uh, uh, million difference. And you know what? I'm just... The 2.8 million difference isn't worth the hassle of trying to get into 8th place. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to accept the 10th place money, which is going to give us 14 million bucks. We now have 16 million dollars. And the first thing I'm going to do with that 6 million dollars is I'm going to invest it into a better staff. Now, we do have to find a better lead designer, which we're not going to be hire, uh, be able to hire any of these crazy four or five star designers away from any of these teams because, well, they're in the top league and they're getting paid money that we just can't pay them. So what we're going to do is we're going to come down here and there's going to be a group of people, let's find them, that are actually unemployed. Uh, Karina Ryder here is unemployed. She's uh, got pretty good skills. 11, 8, 12, 12, 13, 15 when it comes to designing parts. Um, Katie's pretty good at engines and gearboxes, but she can't do... You know what, though? She's really good at engines and gearboxes. Brakes is something we need. Suspension is something we need. The front wing and the rear wing, we do not have to develop because those are our two spec parts that are like locked into the, um, the quality. Uh, every team has the same quality, so those are two things we don't even need to build. So she does really, really good engines. I think Katie is our number one pick right now. 17 and 15, and those are the two most important parts of our vehicle too, is the engine and the gearbox. So I think Katie might be number one. Let's check out a few other people. Really solid brakes, really solid suspension, as well as the gearbox, but the engine sucks. Um, let's see here. Again, rear wing we don't need. You're pretty qualified at everything. Uh, brakes and suspension especially. But I really think I want somebody I want somebody who focuses on the engine and the gearbox. Uh, that being said, ooh, engine, gearbox, and the suspension. You know what? Wayne Bellows, I think you're gonna be our man. 14, 12, 18. 14, 12, 18. He's just more overall. His engine is a little bit worse. His gearbox is a little bit worse, but his suspension is so much better. Um, let's see how he is on brakes. 10, which I think is actually better than she is. So you know what? Let's go with Wayne Bellows. We're going to try to offer him a contract. Um, let's see. Risk level negative one. That is good. Let's go ahead and approach this designer. He is interested in negotiating with us, which is nice. Wages are fairly important. Let's go ahead. Uh, let's offer him 113,000. He'd like a long contract, which, you know, let's try to offer him a two year contract. Just because I feel like we might want to uh, expand into better parts after those two years so we're gonna want somebody who can maybe do the front wing and the rear wing because things can change and you guys will see that when it comes to the politics so Wayne Bellows we're gonna offer you two years uh, he'd prefer a signing on fee uh, let's go ahead what's the max 600,000 so let's do like 420 and then the bonus size isn't very important but I will still offer him a bonus we'll say if we finish eighth or above we'll give you 27,000 bucks uh, you get back to us on that. You know what? I'm going to offer you just a little bit more money in hopes that you sign with us ASAP. So, Wayne Bellows, please come join No Slack Racing. Who else do we need to hire? We need to hire better race mechanics because the guys we have right now are absolute garbage. Uh, we do have a few, looks like a few decent ones. 
Um, Rachel down there seems like she might be pretty good. She's 42 years old. Her concentration and reliability absolutely suck. However, she's a two star and she has the potential to go to four. If you guys notice over here, her stars are like um, outlined with gold and that means she can become up to a four star. Now again, her reliability sucks. Her chemistry is okay. Her performance is okay, but she's got really good part fixes and really good pit stops. The concentration kind of worries me a little bit. Let's go back and see if there's somebody better. Um, Amelia. Ah, uh, no, you're garbage too. And that's the thing. Like some of these, mm, Billy's not horrible. His part fixes suck. However, he's got decent. He's got good chemistry, solid pit stops. His performance isn't bad. However, he just doesn't really have any potential. Like he can't, he can't get better, which is something I always look for. His reliability is solid, which will help us um, uh, make our parts more reliable, much more faster. His pit stops suck, though. Ooh, Gary here. Uh, solid reliability, performance is solid, chemistry is okay. His part fixes and his con uh, concentration kind of suck, but you know what? I think uh, I think we want to go with Gary over here. Concentration uh, let's uh, determines the likelihood of mistakes during a pit stop. Uh, the lower a mechanic's concentration, the higher chance of making a mistake. So that is that's no good. However, his pit stops generally are pretty quick. His performance is solid too, and his reliability. So he will be able to get our parts improved very quickly. I'm thinking he's probably going to be the person that we attach to our secondary driver. Um, let's go ahead and approach Gary over here. We'll start negotiations. Wages are fairly important. The max we can do is 49, so we'll offer, let's say, 43. He wants a long contract. We'll go for just the two years. He'd like a signing bonus, so let's give him, oh, I don't know, what's the max? 30, we'll give him 24. And then bonus size isn't very important. Again, we'll offer you a little bit of a bonus then, 24. And let's go ahead and submit that. One more. We need one more mechanic. Um, let's see here. Race mechanics. Ah, Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Part fixes and pit stops. Her concentration is horrible though. That's not somebody that we want in an actual race. We need somebody who has solid concentration. That's not bad. Billy Evans Got good chemistry, which is something that I don't really care about too much. Your performance is all right. Your reliability is all right Concentration is okay Part fixes is not all that great though, and then the pit stops is okay. So Billy Evans you're definitely on my list I'm gonna look towards you concentration. No good Concentrations nine his reliability is not all that great chemistry is solid Oh man. Oh, and you know what? He's under contract already. Do we not have any other mechanics that aren't under contract? Oh, that kind of sucks. Not really too many people to choose from. Hmm. Ah, Billy. You know what, Billy? I think we're going to go with you. Billy Evans, let's approach this mechanic. He is interested, which is nice. Uh, wages are fairly important. I think we're gonna offer you the same. Uh, we'll offer you forty thousand. He'd like a long contract. We'll give him two years. He'd like a nice signing on fee, which the most we can do is thirty. So let's do a twenty-seven. Save ourselves three grand. You know what? Let's not be cheap. We'll do thirty. Bonus size isn't very important. Again, that's becoming a trend. However, we'll do eighth place. You get twenty-four thousand. Hopefully, that'll convince him to sign with us right away. So that's another contract we have there. Uh, our drivers are not horrible. Uh, like I said, they're both a little bit over two stars. We only have them for the next year. So uh, if we don't end up liking them very much, we can always get new, better drivers next year, which actually is something that we have to scout. As far as the mechanics and the designers, there's no scouting. But when it comes to these drivers, you know what? Let me actually, let's come down here and let's scout. Uh, we'll scout all, all of you guys, all the unemployed drivers, we will scout. Hopefully we find like a hidden gem. Somebody who might be, let's come down here again real quick. One of these guys might be like a two star, 
uh, with a potential of getting up to, you know, like a three or a four, which is better than the drivers we have now, who are currently two stars. So if one of them does present themselves to have high potential, we could very well replace our driver in the middle of the season. Uh, that being said, we have the HQ getting upgraded. We can have our car get upgraded too. I don't really want to design a new part until we have the designer that we uh, just offered contract to. Uh, once we have them, we can start designing a new part. Uh, let's go ahead and improve some of these parts that we do have though. Uh, our engines, our brakes, our gearbox, and our suspensions, they all suck. However, we need to improve the reliability on all of them. So we're going to put them here into the reliability category. We have all of our points um, assigned to that. So it says here, they will be completely reliable 100% six days after the race, which obviously isn't uh, exactly what we want, but hey, it's better than nothing. Also too, when we do the upgrade to that factory, it's going to unlock these two. Uh, actually, I think it's going to keep this here but it's going to unlock uh, two more slots over here in reliability. So we'll be able to increase uh, how quickly we improve our parts uh, that way, which is very, very important, which is why I spent $8 million on upgrading the factory. That being said, we don't have any sponsorships as of this moment, but let's go ahead and actually continue. We're gonna simulate a little bit here and then hopefully some of our uh, the staff people that we offer contracts to actually accept. Now, let's see. Uh, we have a request for... Oh, hold on. Wayne Bellows here accepted the contract. First offer. That was actually awesome. Wayne Bellows, is he our designer? Uh, Wayne Bellows is the designer. That is beautiful. That makes me very happy. We're going to sign him without a doubt. We're going to get rid of Belinda here. Belinda Wilkshire. And that being said, he gets a nice hefty bonus of 420,000 bucks. And we're going to go ahead, we're going to start designing a new part because we now have him uh, to do that. First things first, we want to get a better engine. Uh, let's see here top speed plus 25 to max, plus 15 over here. However, there is a risk level. Pretty much same thing here plus 25, the red zone is negative 5, which means that less of a chance of it uh, bu busting on us during a race. But again, risk level plus one. And the thing that the risk level means is that it can actually uh, get us in trouble. It's pretty much an illegal part. Um, once they do the after race inspection, if they uh, they happen to find whatever's making this part illegal, they will not only make it so that we cannot use that part ever again, but they will also dock us something like a million dollars and also a few spots in the race, you know, a few points. So I think we're going to go with the legit top speed engine right there. That's going to cost us $1.5 million and it's going to be done, oh, a few weeks from now. Uh, 12 days, 22 hours. And then once that's done, see, it's not going to be done before the race. Um, 12 days, 22 hours, the race is in 10 days. So we're not going to be able to use this in the first race. However, I'm pretty confident that we'll be able to use it in the second one. That being said... I'm not quite sure which driver is going to get it, but whichever driver does get this part will have, they'll still have a pretty crappy vehicle compared to the rest of the ones in our league, but it'll be much better than the other driver on our team. One other thing that I want to try to find over here, see our cars compare pretty crappily to the rest of the league. <sighs> not good. Oh well. So yeah. Mm, I definitely want to try to get a better driver. If we can get somebody that has like a four star potential, I'd like to start grooming them because each race actually helps them develop a little bit. So I'd like to get that knocked out sooner rather than later. Also, we do have to start getting sponsors so we can get some more cash in here. Now let's check this out. I must respond to the interview request? Sure, I'll accept. You've certainly picked a tough task for your first job. Are you expecting to pick up many points at all this season? Uh, we're going to surprise a few people this year, mark my words. You know what, that'll probably help us with our marketing. I'm quietly confident that we'll manage a few decent finishes, but I'm making no promises. That's probably not going to do very much. And then it'll be a struggle, there's no denying it. Winning a few points would be wonderful. Uh, and it would make such a difference to our budget. So our team chairman probably wouldn't like that response. I'm going to go ahead. I don't believe this, 
but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna say this just because I think it'll help with marketing. Ooh, our drivers actually went down in morale, and then our chairman actually went up in happiness. But I was hoping it would increase our marketing. Andre Gomez is seen by the fans as your top driver. Uh, you know what? They're pretty even. Actually, I'd say they're exactly even. So I'm not going to say he's the best. I'm going to say I'm lucky enough to have inherited two drivers. And that just picks them right back up to where they were before my first answer. In the Evening Herald season preview, I wrote that you're expected to finish 10th in the team championship. Well, there's only 10 teams, so you basically you picked me to finish last. Is that accurate, or do you think that you can do any better? I think it's pretty accurate. Uh, let's see, I hate to disappoint the fans, but that seems realistic. I am not saying that. That will definitely hurt our marketing. The prediction seems fair, but I'm hoping that we're going to surprise you. That's a fair answer. We'll do better. I can promise you that. You know what? I'm going to say that too. I really want my marketing to go up, man. Come on. Come on, man. Uh, you've been a legendary engineer in the pit lane for years. Are you expecting your background to give you any advantages? Uh, well, it should, right? Well, obviously, I'll have some greater insight. Well, yeah, I'm going to answer that. I'm good. Nice. Our chairman's happier with this. Uh, didn't get the marketing effect that I was hoping it would get, but uh, oh well. Not much I can do about that. So let's see. Contract proposals. Uh, they both got accepted. Nice. Beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead. We're going to accept Billy Evans' contract. We're going to replace him. Billy Evans. You know what? It doesn't matter. We're going to replace you. Confirm. 30000 bucks out the window for his bonus. And we're going to go ahead. We're going to sign Gary Watson. He's going to replace Abraham. And then I have to figure out which driver I want who to work with. Um, I think I want... Who's our best race driver? So his concentration in pit stops is 7 and 11. Gary is 3 and 11. So I definitely want Gary to work with our lesser driver. So what I think I'm going to do, I think Billy is going to work with uh, Gomes. So he already says here, race mechanic for Andre Gomes, which is good. Oh, he used to work with Sergio Valdez, who's a pretty, pretty good driver on another team in our division. Anyway, so that's exactly how I want it. Contract signs. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. I think our team is looking pretty good. Let's check this out real quick. Our staff. See, our staff went up. It was way down here, and now it is pretty much league average, just slightly below. Which, if we pick up a little better driver, that is definitely going to go up further. I'm not going to waste money or time on finding a better reserve driver, though. As a matter of fact, if we do pick up a better driver, I might just move one of these guys down to be our reserve. Although, uh, I have yet to have to ever use a reserve driver. Knock on wood. Alright, let's see. How's our car parts coming along? 10 days, 12 hours. Okay, we just haven't simmed anything yet. Alright, so the race is coming up here. We're traveling to Black Sea, which is going to be our first race of the season. You know what, guys? We are at 28 minutes. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to... Oh, you know what? We need sponsors, too. Um, let's see. So, race bonus sponsors. This is money strictly per race. And then fixed payment is going to be... We're going to get money per race, or there's a chance that it'll just be like one lump sum. So, like, LaRocca here is offering us one million bucks right now just for 10 straight-up races, which honestly isn't really that great of a deal. Uh, Bango Barbecue is offering us 1.5 and it would just be for one more race and then Carne Blanco here is offering us 200 grand per race so that already translates to 2 million plus an extra 200,000 up front so that's 2.2 million dollars um, just for that that's actually not a horrible deal Carne Blanco we'll, uh, we'll think about them and then Peach Plum here is going to give us 350,000 per race now, real quick, I want to see, I think this might tell me. As of right now, we are negative uh, 1.4 million. So every single race that we race, we're going to lose 1.4 million. Unless, of course, we finish like, you know, top three or something and we get some sort of a nice little payout. However, negative 1.4 is not, not good. 
and our race is kicking in right now so I do want to get some cash we'll go ahead we'll do peach plum here for 350 per race and then I think we're also going to do carne blanco here which is going to give us another 200,000 per race plus it gives us a little 200 grand extra little bonus money and these guys give us upfront payment of a million bucks however I feel like we could probably get probably get better sponsors here sooner um, let's see what we can do here fifth or above that's not gonna happen for a bonus payment of 800,000 and then over here second and above not gonna happen second and above not gonna happen second and above not gonna happen however these guys will give us 1.2 million just to accept the contract uh, that's over that's like four eh, that's like 350 350,000 per race Actually, a little bit. Uh, it's a little bit less. Uh, two hundred thousand, pretty much two hundred thousand per race, and then you know what? And then it might not be so bad. Northern Harbor will consider you. Hold on a sec. Then over here, thirteenth or above, eleventh or above, nine places up front. You know what? I think we'll go with Col uh, Golden Tiger Bank here. If we finish thirteenth or above, we will get two hundred thousand bucks. Plus, they're going to give us close to a million right now. So I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna accept that. Uh, and we do have a race coming up right now. You know, I think I'm just gonna. I, I need to suck it up for that 1.2 million. And I'm gonna accept Northern Harbor. Like I said, 1.2 million is a pretty sweet offer right now. And then this fifth or above. That's not gonna happen. 800,000. You know, what, I'm gonna hold out for maybe like an upfront for an upfront um, payout before I accept. I'm gonna leave these two slots open just because I think we can do better now let's check if I go over here to team our sponsors are about league average uh, and that's without those two uh, already being filled up that being said it is race day let's go ahead and race huge anticipation yes yes I know uh, we're gonna do this 13th or above we're just gonna try to collect that two hundred thousand dollars and as you can see here it's already telling us post-race profit loss we're expected to lose 1.4 and if we get this bonus it'll just be 1.2 uh, we don't need to fit any parts because none of our uh, new parts have been designed yet I like that both of our brakes are at 90 uh, above 90 percent however the engines are crap not that reliable gearboxes crap not that reliable suspension extra crap still really not all that reliable However, there's nothing we can do about it. Those are the parts we have. We just have to develop better parts. All right, let's do this. Now, to be completely honest with you guys, I'm not expecting to finish any better than, I don't know, maybe 14th if we're lucky. I don't remember quite what that sponsor bonus was for. I want to say it was 14th or 15th, but uh, if we get that, I'll be happy. Our cars are absolute crap. Even with the best tactics and the best setup and everything, it's not likely that we're going to finish uh, that high. Maybe next race, because uh, we should have a better engine. And you know what? We might even have, we'll probably have a better engine, and we might even have something else. I, might, I don't know if I'm going to go for two engines. Uh, just so both of my drivers can have a decent engine or if I'm gonna try to focus on two different parts for one car uh, but we're gonna have Andre Gomez over here and Faith they're gonna be our primary drivers we're gonna try to set up their vehicles uh, so that they can race uh, the best race that they can and I like to I like to put all of my markers all the way at the edge so that I know if it unless Unless they're great or excellent right off the bat, I can just slide them on over. Which you guys will see exactly what I'm talking about if you guys haven't played this game before. We're at 62 degrees Fahrenheit. It's going to get a little bit warmer and it doesn't look like we're going to have any rain. So I'm going to go with these uh, soft tires. And that's going to be that. Then over here, uh, let's work on your car's setup. We're going to go down force all the way down there. Uh, speed balance is fine, and then let's go with oversteer. Let's move your speed balance just a little bit more. Again, we're going to give you the same soft tires, and I think that's the setup that we're going to go with. Let's go ahead and go to the practice session, which we can send out Gomez here. 
uh, we are all good to go go ahead and start racing and since he's up a little bit we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna send out uh, Faith Anthony over here she's technically our number two driver even though they're both pretty equal and we have them labeled as like equal drivers equal team all that good stuff we are gonna say that uh, Gomez is our number one driver just because I feel like he's probably a little bit better plus he's marketable um, the sponsors like him more than they like Faith Anthony so if he does well I think that'll help our sponsorships uh, further along in the season which that's that's a huge deal because uh, right now we're getting crap as far as money uh, as you can see we're actually losing money every race so uh, uh, we definitely need to get better marketing money coming in. You know what? I think we can... Uh, okay, we can go ahead and call both of these guys in. And we can kind of see what our initial setup was like. Uh, now, it seems to me like these practice sessions aren't quite long enough to get everything just right. Which should make sense. Not every team is going to have their car perfectly tuned. But uh, I would definitely like to see the practice times uh, be a little bit longer. Which is actually pretty funny because um, I was mentioning the politics earlier. You can actually... Um, that's one of the things that they discuss. I don't know if they're going to do it in the first or second season or whatever. 64% uh, optimum balance. So not really all that great. The handling is okay. Gomez thinks the handling is just okay. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to bump it a little bit. Uh, as far as the speed balance though, that needs a major adjustment. Uh, so we're going to go over there. The downforce also needs a pretty, pretty big adjustment. Uh, so let's have the handling. Let's see, we're going to do something like that. The handling can get bumped a little bit more. And the speed balance, we're going to just go ahead. We're going to go with that. Can't be much worse uh, than 64%. Uh, let's do faiths now. Are you at 64% or are you worse? You're even worse. 56%, not good. Uh, okay, but we do have a great as far as speed balance. So I think I'm going to try to stick pretty close to that. I'll maybe adjust it just a tiny little bit. And hopefully that'll get it into excellent. As far as the handling though, let's see here. The handling we're going to definitely adjust. We're going to come back a little bit on the speed. And then the downforce is going to have to get adjusted as well. Um, let's go back to the speed and get that closer to greatness. And I think that's good. We're going to give that a shot. Let's send them both out and then hopefully we'll be able to call them back in here in the next like three minutes and get a little bit extra uh, intel as to how they want their cars uh, set up for the race. Now every race is different too, uh, depending on like the straightaways, the sharp turns, um, all that good stuff, they will want their car set up differently. So just because we get it set up to, you know, be pretty solid on this race doesn't necessarily mean that it'll be set up well for the next race. Alright, let's see, those tweaks to the downforce are great, nice job with the setup, good. So Gomez should be happier with his current setup than he was with his last setup. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and we're going to actually have these guys come in after they do this next lap. And it is raining too. Um, which we can set them up with, okay, let's bring them both in. We can probably set them up with the intermittent tires, even though it's 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 only a race, but hey, that'll give them a little bit more experience on those tires. I want you guys to come in as soon as possible, because I'd really like to get another lap out of you guys as far as um, knowing how your car is set up. Yeah, it looks like a lot of the other teams are switching to intermittents. As you can see over here, like half of the teams are on the uh, the wet tires. All right, these guys are coming in. Uh, ooh, okay. So look, excellent speed balance, excellent handling, great downforce. So it looks like your car is pretty much almost peak. 96%. Beautiful. Um, I'm going to go ahead, and I think what I'm going to do, I'm just going to keep you the way you are. I'm not going to mess with it. I am not going to mess with that. 96% is good. The downforce, we could tweak it to the left or to the right just a slight little bit and hopefully get that into excellent. But then that would jeopardize moving the handling and balance. You know what, let's... Let's do something like that. How was it before? Uh, you know what, 
Yeah, you know what? We're, we'll keep it like that. Let's do something like... Let's do that. And then if we don't like it, we can always come back to the this uh, configuration later. We'll keep you there. Um, let's set you up on the intermittent tires just for this next half a lap or lap or whatever you're able to do. And then you definitely improved as well. You're on the, what, 80 something? 91, nice. Uh, good, good, great. Okay, so everything got better, uh, except for obviously the speed balance stayed the same. Um, let's see if we can improve those top two ones just a tiny little bit. So the downforce was further to the left. Let's try to move it even further to the right. Let's just do something like that. And then the handling was further to the right. It is now way left. This could be either way. It could go either way, really. Uh, let's try to move it. Okay, wrong one. Let's try to move it a little bit more to the left. Just one more. And then the speed balance, I want to get back to where it was because it was already pretty great. Let's try that out. And again, if this is not uh, better, we can we can always go back to the previous setup by just a click of a button. It's not that big of a deal. All right, these guys are going to go out. I don't think they're going to make two laps. I think this is going to be the last lap, which I'm pretty sure since it's the out lap, the lap that they're leaving the pit area, I don't think that they're going to be able to do one more. I think they're going to get called into the pit lane uh, before they get a chance to do the one more lap, which is actually going to kind of suck. Kind of makes me wish I had pitted them, you know, like 10 seconds sooner. Yeah, I don't think we got too much response out of that. Actually, looks great, excellent, great. So it looks like we might have. Arrow was feeling great now, just the right setup. Is Gomez still driving? Nice. So, okay, Gomez did actually manage to get one more lap. So he's going to maybe get a little bit more intel as to how much he likes that vehicle compared to his previous setups. Now, if you guys, uh, you guys will see this over the course of the season. Tanvir Ja here, he is uh, the racer for Garuda Racing. Uh, he's pretty much the best driver that there is in this league. So we want to kind of compare ourselves to him as far as where we are with qualifying and all that stuff. Now, as you can see here, his best lap was a minute and 21 seconds. Our best was a minute 25, which four, four and a half seconds doesn't seem like much. But when you consider four and a half seconds times, you know, let's say 30 laps, he's going to kick our butt. So we definitely need to improve our vehicles, need to get a little bit of a better, uh, faster lap. Let's see, no slack racing. You need a better driver than Andre Gomez. Hmm. What well, sucks? I'm uh, sorry you don't like our driver. No slack, Novak must be a worried man after that practice session. Uh, I'm not really all that worried. I know we're going to suck. I know we're not going to do all that well in this race. I'm just going to have to suck it up and, you know, try to try to do the best that we can. 13th or above for $200,000. I'm fairly confident that's not going to happen, but uh, let's go ahead and give it a shot. Now, we have this practice knowledge here that we can instill in our racers for the uh, the current race. And let's check this out. They both look pretty happy. Actually, he went down. He was at 96. Let's see. Great. Excellent. Yeah, he went down. We're going to go ahead and we're going to use that 96% setup. Uh, we are looking at 60 degrees and going slightly down. And no rain in the forecast. So what I think we're going to do, I think we're going to start off on the soft as opposed to the super soft. Just because they give us more laps. Uh, less wear and tear as well. We're going to do the full 12 laps there. Let's check out Faith's setup here. She did go up. Beautiful. She was at good, good, great, and she is now at great, excellent, great. I am not going to mess with that. We're going to use the 95% setup. Again, I'm going to give you the soft tires, and you're going to have a full tank of gas. And I want both of you guys to actually start off on pretty aggressive uh, race profiles. Uh, you're both going to try to overtake, you're both going to try to attack, and then I'm thinking maybe one lap in, or two, depending on how things turn out. One or two laps in, we're going to switch you back over to a more conservative approach. Now, let's see, Faith Anthony started off 12th, and uh, Andre Gomez started off, I want to say 18th. 
Faith Anthony's has already lost five spots in the race. Gomez hasn't made any kind of progress. Anthony is now 18th, 17th, 18th. <laughs> Gomez is 19th. So yeah, both of our drivers are at the very, pretty much at the very end of the of the pack. Uh, that being said, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to lower their uh, strategies right away. They're also riskier too. The uh, the further you get up to the red, the riskier. Um, the, at more risk, you're at more risk of crashing your vehicle sometime during the race, which I've actually seen um, happen quite a bit. Um, if you're surrounded by cars, the risk goes up. If the road is wet, the risk goes up. If you're on like a super aggressive uh, racing profile, uh, the risk also goes up there. So as we can see, uh, both of our racers are well behind the rest of the pack. They're at 19th and 20th, and they're really not even all that close to the rest of the uh, the racers. That's just because our cars are absolute garbage right now, which we were pretty aware of earlier. 19th and 20th, and that's probably not going to improve. You know what, Gomez, I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to give you uh, permission to go a little bit. A little bit harder. We're going to do overtake uh, engine mode and we're going to push your tires a little bit more. Uh, as far as you, we're just going to push your tires, try to get them into the sweet spot. But we're not going to mess with your fuel situation too much. Uh, just because mostly I don't want them pitting at the same time. If uh, Gomez goes into the pit and he's getting work done, uh, that won't allow Anthony to get work done. Even though she'll be in the pit, uh, the crew can only work on one vehicle at a time. So there's really no sense in having them both pit at the same time. Now it looks like, okay good, Gomez just uh, made a little bit of a pass on Santa Ana over there. He is in 18th and he's actually caught up to the rest of the pack. Gomez might challenge for, I don't know, 17th or so? Oh, Gomez, look at you. Gomez is pushing through. Oh wow, he's 16th now. Oh, 5th, fifth, 5th, fifth, no, come on. Come on, there we go, 16th. Beautiful. Well, Gomez, you're doing pretty damn good. Gomez is in 14th, even with that crappy car. I think Gomez is definitely going to be our number one racer. Um, I, Like I said, despite them both being pretty even in skill, uh, the fact that Gomez is 22, he's younger, and, you know, he's just, I don't know. He uh, Plus, like I said, he's marketable. Um, sponsorships will be attracted to him more than they will uh, to Faith. Um, so we're going to try to get Gomez to uh, be kind of like our superstar here. He's now in 11th, which is, well, 10th now. Wow, beautiful. Um, I'm thinking we should have him lap somewhat soon. I'm going to try to get him. Okay, good. He's going to get in the 9th, at least 9th here. He is now 8th, 7th, because uh, most of those vehicles pitted. Uh, he definitely has to pit though, because uh, let's see, his tires are at 22% and he only has 1.5 laps worth of fuel left. I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to have him pit. There's 22 laps left. We're going to go with the soft tires again. We're going to fill them up as far as we can on fuel. And it looks like his parts are doing okay. Now that can change over the course of the next three or four laps, I mean pretty quickly. So I'm not going to hold my breath, but as of right now, his parts are okay. That being said, looks like Faith Anthony is going to have to pit as well. I'm actually going to have you, uh, I'm going to have you conserve your tires a little bit, and your your fuel is okay. But I'd like Faith Anthony to do one more lap after Gomez pits, where she's going to pit right now. Faith Anthony is right there. I'm going to have her scheduled to do the next pit. Again, she's going to go on the super softs. We're going to give her as much fuel as we possibly can. And her parts are looking okay. The engine kind of worries me. It's only at 55%. But we're going to go ahead and we're going to go do that. And let's go ahead and go to speed 3. You can actually push uh, Faith's fuel a little bit more too. She's a little extra on fuel. Which if we do the, uh, the higher fuel push, it's actually going to wear her engine out a little bit faster. So I probably shouldn't have done that. But you know what, let's just go ahead and we're going to stick with it. Um, hopefully, I'm hoping Gomes, Gomez's um, pit went okay. I, I completely forgot to check that out. Uh, Faith is in the pit right now. 
pit lane. Okay, the pit took 13 seconds, which isn't bad. And she's now, what, two spots ahead of Gomez, which Gomez probably isn't too happy about that. He lost a lot of time in the pits. Oh, boy. Well, let's see. Almost everybody pitted as well. Uh, but they are running the, the super soft tires, so they're going to have to pit soon. Uh, let's see, where's Gomez? Gomez has pretty fresh tires. He's got one of the freshest sets of tires on the race. So he's actually going to be able to go quite a bit. Uh, let's lower his fuel a little bit, and let's also conserve his tires. Because uh, they're, they're pretty warm right now. Uh, Anthony, let's go ahead. We're going to make you uh, warm them up a little bit. And we're going to keep you on you know, halfway decent fuel there. Let's go ahead and speed up time and let's see if Gomez can actually push through and did, do what he did last time and actually get ahead of a lot of these guys. It looks like Anthony's driving pretty well too. She's not letting the other spot pass her up. The, uh, the 18th driver, which is Santa Ana, she's not letting her pass her up. I think Santa Ana is a female. Uh, Gomez, on the other hand, is trying to pass up Santa Ana and then uh, probably pass up his own teammate. Which we're at 14 laps. We have 30 uh, total. So we have 16 more to go. Uh, Gomez just doesn't look like he's making any progress right now. Although his cars will probably probably be in the pit here. Uh, he just moved up to 18th. Oh, great. Oh, he needs intermediates. Okay, uh, let's see. So it is going to start raining. And it might last for a little bit. Uh, which that kind of sucks. Um... We're going to ignore that for now. I'm going to try to keep you out there for at least one more. You know what? How, how's your car looking? 49% on the engine. Ah, you know what? If we pit you now, the tires will not last the rest of the race. Um, the tires won't last the rest of the race. The fuel, there's 15 laps remaining. Uh, I'm gonna, you know what, I think I want to try to squeeze, I think I need to try to squeeze like three or four more laps out of you, even though it's gonna be bad, it's gonna be too much rain, um, okay, you know what, let's just suck it up, we're gonna pitch you, we're gonna give you the intermediate tires, and let's go ahead, we'll do the intermediate tires, we'll give you full tank of gas, and I think we're even gonna fix up your engine, just because I want to... I want to make sure that that's not a problem in the later stages of the race. Um, and then we'll worry about Anthony after that. Anthony here is... I think she's going to pass pit lane here right now. So Gomez is going to go in. Gomez did go in. Let's watch his pit stop time. Should be a little bit longer just because his engine is getting worked on. And somebody messed up on the tires. So his total pit stop was 26 seconds. Everything was great except for the tires. Overall, 26 seconds isn't bad. Um, Anthony is going to pit now. She's going to go ahead and put on some intermediates. Uh, we're going to give her the full tank of gas. And then let's see. Her engine also needs a little bit of work. Let's go ahead and do that. I am not expecting to win this race whatsoever. I'm honestly not even expecting either one of them to get into the top 10. Anthony's at 13 now, but she's going to pit for quite some time. So she's probably going to end up like 18th or 19th after all is said and done. She's 16th already. We need to get up to 13th in order to get the uh, the sponsor objective, which I believe was like 400,000. Anthony is 18th. Gomez is 17th. Neither one of them are... I don't think either one of them is in a really good position to, uh, to get that sponsor objective. It is going to rain for at least two more laps, and then there's going to be some more water on the track for the next maybe four or five laps. Which, I think for four or five laps, we pretty much had to change to intermediates. And then uh, we could pit one more time, and then probably run the rest of the race on our last set of tires. And our last tank of fuel. Now, I think uh, Tony Jaw, or whatever his name is, Jaw over here, is just way too far ahead. He's... He's 40 seconds ahead of second place, so he's just got this he's got this race locked up. Unless something happens with his car or he crashes, uh, there's no way that we're going to be able to pass him up. Gomez is still 17th. Anthony is still 18th. Let's go ahead. Let's check out Gomez. Uh, he's actually battling with the 16th car. 
he has a chance of possibly, you know what, let's, uh, let's push you a little bit. We'll push you, we'll push you a little bit on the tires there too. You know what, let's just do all the way. Let's just go for it. Which, that's dangerous, uh, especially considering the, uh, the conditions, the wetness. And looks like, nice, the 16th car has some sort of medical, or uh, medical, some sort of malfunction. So, Gomez was actually able to pass him up fairly easily. Uh, second place just lapped Gomez, though. Uh, Gomez is now in 14th, thanks to a few cars pitting. Which actually puts him in a position he might actually be able to get that sponsor bonus. Now I'm thinking, let's go ahead, let's check out the weather. Um, it is actually going to start raining again a little bit later on. So I think we're going to stick with the intermediates. And we do have eight laps to go, which at the current condition, there's no way that Gomez can finish the race on that set of tires. So what I think we might want to do, we might want to pit him now and then just have him run the rest of the race. Um, there are eight laps to go after this one. And the tires will definitely be able to last eight laps. Let's go ahead and pit him. We're going to give him, let's, let's double check the weather here. They're actually going to get pretty bad. So you know what? We're going to give him wet tires. We're going to give him wets. They're going to go 12 to 14 laps. Uh, let's give him eight laps remaining. We'll give him 9.32. You know what? We'll give him 10.32 and then we'll just run him on the maximum fuel. Let's check his parts real quick. Um, we need to fix whatever this is. Is this the uh, the rear wing? We're going to fix the rear wing and then we're going to hope that the gearbox lasts till the end of the race. Let's go ahead and schedule that. He's going to go ahead and do that here very soon. And once he's through the pit, we're going to do the same thing with Anthony. We're going to try to have her uh, come in, get some wets. And then hopefully she'll be able to... Okay, we can actually schedule that now. Uh, let's double check the weather. It's still going to be raining. It's still going to be pretty wet. We're going to give him the wet, or give her the wet. Uh, seven laps. We'll give her nine worth of fuel. A few of these parts are iffy. Again, rear wing, the engine is a little iffy. We're going to try to squeeze out the rest of the race with these current part setups. Let's go ahead and do that. Let's watch Gomez here, who's now in 17th, but he's good for the rest of the race. He's going to come out of the pits, and he should be able to uh, finish the race without having to pit again. Uh, we're going to do a little bit less on the... Uh, the aggressiveness of the driving style, but we're going to stick with the overtake strategy with the fuel. Uh, Anthony's pitting right now. She was 13th when she went into the pit. Now she's dropping down to 16th. 14th now. I guess uh, somebody else pitted with her. And look at that. I think our racers are pretty close together. 15th and 16th. Gomez is letting people pass him up no problem. But, uh, again, Gomez has a pretty crappy car, so I'm not all that shocked. Uh, that being said, let's go ahead and lower the driving style on Anthony's vehicle. And I think we're good. Our tires will probably last the rest of the race, I'm pretty sure, especially Anthony. And they are both on the overtake strategy when it comes to fuel. They both have excess fuel that was planned, right? We gave them, like, two laps extra fuel because I plan on pushing them the rest of the race. Hopefully one of these guys, Anthony or Gomez, can actually finish in the top 13, which would give us some sponsor money. I know Anthony had a little bit of uh, issues with her vehicle. Okay, come on, Anthony. Looks like we're the only ones on wets. Everybody else is on the intermediate tires, which it's not all that super wet right now on the track, but it is going to get worse. Hopefully, everybody else still being on intermediates will help us kind of pass them up. Oh boy, this isn't good. The leader's on lap 28, and uh, Anthony's still on lap 25, so there's really very little chance that Anthony's going to be able to finish in the top 13. Anthony is a full 70 seconds behind the tur uh, 13th, the 13th place uh, driver right now, so I think we're pretty set with finishing 15th and 16th. Um, it might actually get worse than 15th and 16th uh, before it gets better. 
Anthony, uh, she's doing a little bit of passing up, but it's just, it doesn't mean anything right now. Two laps remaining for everyone else. Anthony pretty much has to do three and a half more laps. Although, the 13th just retired. It looks like they, oh, mechanical issue, okay. So, Tang just retired. That does open up uh, the possibility for, see, Ar Ar Arbeloa just uh, went from 14th to 13th. Uh, Anthony here will go from 15th to 14th. We just need one more spot, although that is a 27 second difference, so I really doubt that we're going to be able to uh, to get up there. Especially considering the leader is already on the final lap, and they're probably going to cross here in the next 30 seconds or so, so I think we're pretty much done. For, it looks like it's going to be 14th and 15th, which could be worse, but it could be better too. Yeah, 14th and 15th. Um, hey, that's, I guess that's better than what I expected. But, uh, I mean, it looks like we did have a chance to possibly get up a little bit higher. Uh, we had like one or two pit stop kind of failures. And then our, just pretty much what it is, is our vehicles suck. We need to work on them uh, drastically. And actually, we do have the one engine getting developed. I think as soon as that engine is finished, we're going to just start working on a second engine. And we're going to pretty much do that for the rest of the year with the rest of the parts. I think we'll do something like engine, gearbox, then we'll do like the suspension, and then we'll work on, I think, the brakes. And then we'll just, uh, that's probably going to be it for the first season, and then after that we'll just continue to do uh, upgrades throughout the years. Um, we cannot be punished for anything because we have no illegal parts, so this is pointless. Thanks for checking our cars out, though. All right, let's check this out. Drivers Championship standings. We are currently 14th and 15th as far as our drivers. It looks like uh, Predator Racing is a little bit worse than us. And uh, look, maybe Eastwood too. Eastwood is uh, Sergio Arbe Ar Arbeloa and then uh, Etta. So they got a total of what? 8, 13 points. We have 13 points. So we're going to be tied with Eastwood Motorsport in the standings so you yep look at that tied with Eastwood at seventh uh, dragon uh, race team is only one point ahead of us and then octane is one point below and then we have predator racing uh, six points below us so that's actually nice to see um, okay good let's check out the status of our engine real quick and then uh, that's probably gonna be the end of the episode guys hopefully you guys like uh, episode one of motorsport manager uh, I do plan on making a lot of these videos, so hopefully you guys are enjoying this series. If you are, do me a favor, leave me a like on the video. Uh, that's how I know if you guys want to see more. Uh, now, despite uh, what you guys think, I'm probably just going to finish out the season regardless because it is such a fun game and I really like playing it. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to share that with you guys. None of our drivers really progressed on any skills, and that is just because they're already at their full potential, which is another reason why I wanted to add in a younger driver, someone who has potential of, um, you know, unlocking more potential as their career progresses. Let's go ahead and continue this. We lost $924,000 during the race. Sponsors gave us five hundred and fifty, dollars but that still wasn't nearly enough to uh, get us into the, the, the black. All right, let's go ahead. We're gonna fast forward through this, and let's check something out here. Um, the car is gonna get worked on, so we're actually. Oh, wait, is our part done? Is our engine done? Nice. Engine build finished. Let's check that out real quick. Actually, you know what? We're gonna start working on another engine. This time, we're gonna be able to get into the good uh, category over here. So we have top speed plus 25, same as our first engine. And then we can do another top speed of 35, but with a risk of plus one, which will then make it an illegal part. I don't really want to do that. Reliability will be better. However, I'm not willing to sacrifice speed for reliability. Reliability is something we can fix pretty easily. As a matter of fact, I'm going to go with uh, top speed of plus 40, and we're going to lower the reliability by 20. And then is, uh, as we can see here, that'll make our engine a 56 and an 88, which is like five times better than what we have now. And then we can make it up to like eight times better than what we have now. So that's what we're going to start working on. That's going to be pretty expensive, though. It's going to cost us $1.6 million. 
Uh, let's go ahead and we're gonna fast forward one more day. Actually, we have an interview request here. After his win today, we were wondering if you had any thoughts on Tanvir Ja. He's a great racer. Uh, I'd love to have Ja on the team. Hopefully, we can make that happen one day. That would be, yeah, that's pretty much my answer. Uh, he's an interesting driver. Anything can happen. No, I'm very happy with our two drivers, and he can't hold a candle to Faith Anthony. Um, I wish that were true. However, it is not. I'm going to say I'd love to have him on the team personality trait added driver is open to discussing terms you know what Tanvir Ja I've been uh, talking about how great of a driver you are uh, let's go to scouting where is Tanvir Ja here he is he is from I'm not sure is that Iraq or Iran not quite sure where he's from, but let's see his braking, and this is the thing, we need to scout him. But uh, let's approach the driver, he is interested. Um, you know what, first of all, let's actually scout him. Let's check to see what kind of stats he has. And then let's go ahead, we're going to go into... We're going to check our car out. Oh, we can't improve the parts yet, so the car is not done. Okay, good. Car repair is now complete. So we can actually improve our parts. We do have the new engine here, which is only a 16, but a 40 reliability. What I want to do, we're going to take these parts out. They no longer need to be made more reliable. And I'm actually going to try to make this engine here a little bit better. Uh, we are going to do the, we're going to do both. Seven days before. See, and then if we, if we adjust the slider, it shows you here. So the reliability will be at completely 48 one day before the race. But then the reliability here, sorry, the performance will be all the way up one day before the race. But the reliability is still pretty much a month away uh, from being at 100%. So what I think I want to do is I want to make this a little bit, let's do something like this. I want it to be more reliable than stronger performance, but I do still want it to be better than 16. So that's what we're going to do there. And then we still need to, let's see. Uh, 13 days until the new engine is complete. We're gonna go ahead. We're gonna worry about that later And you know what guys that is gonna be the end of this episode next episode. We'll worry about better sponsorships We'll also uh, hopefully have Jaw scouted and then maybe we'll hire him as our new driver. That would be pretty awesome uh, He is a great driver. He does need a better vehicle than what we have to offer though But uh, depending on his skills we might have him uh, for the remainder of the season Anyways, guys, if you guys liked the episode, do me a favor, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and hopefully I'll see you guys on another video. Until then, I hope you guys have a great day, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.